So, welcome to... <laughs> First stage of my journey. Let's stop it there. My name's David and I'm the Wandering Ponderer. And I'm embarking on a journey to meet somebody very special in London. This is part two of a video. If you haven't seen part one, it would be best to go and see part one and then you'll understand. Right, now they've gone to watch the other video, we will continue. I called a train from Calverton to Liverpool Street to go to London to make a video with a very special YouTuber, Glastonbury Gabriel. The journey went smoothly, we pulled into Liverpool Street. It was there Gabriel was waiting, right by the barrier as I alighted from my train. After a quick selfie and some coffee, we went to the tube station and made our way to Holborn. This was planned. But we found our way to the venue only to discover as it was Monday it was closed. Quick thinking and plan B was put into operation. Welcome to the London Transport Museum in Covent Garden. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Glastonbury Gabriel. And so the two YouTubers commence their activity making a video which follows. If you want to see Gabriel's video, Gabriel's side of things, you will have to go to his channel and watch the video when it comes up. So I would be very quick and subscribe because we had a good time. The London Transport Museum in Covent Garden is full of history. I personally was hoping to see an example of the steam bus like we had in Coggeshall, but after a few inquiries there wasn't one there. The museum with three floors and looking from this view it made me wonder how they got some of the vehicles on the floors above, which were obviously quite heavy. It wasn't long before there was a watch on display that made us think of Jeff Kellison. There's one there for Jeff from 1923. But as we go, before we go past, here's one for our buddy Jeff over in America. Now he'll be the first person to tell you that that will not be an accurate rip clock. That will not keep good time, because in this country, we didn't need them to keep good time. My disappointment over not finding the steam bus was soon over, as we found this example, of the beautiful underground steam train. You don't have to be nerdy to like these things. There's something so romantic about a steam engine. I wondered how many Coggeshall people this very engine had carried on its journeys. People that have come from Coggeshall to London. I 
try to get a good view from the driver's perspective or more likely the fireman this information put a whole different perspective on the air quality on tube trains these days the mannequins that were used in some of these carriages were very expressive very lifelike Excuse me, your lady. Is Mr. Darcy here bothering you? I hate to tell you, miss, but that fella's Jack, you know, the Ripper. That's good for your rhubarb. Gabriel was busy talking on his video I had spied a particular bus that I'd seen in photographs of Coggeshall and I wanted to go over and have a look at it closely I can't be sure it's the exact make but it's a very similar bus to what we would have seen had we been around in the early days when these buses were driving around Coggeshaw. If you watch Gabriel's channel, this is how he does his, his videos. It's a little secret. Don't tell him I told you. I used to go to school on a green version of one of these. Yeah, they did. They ran them out of London. They were called Green Line. Yeah, there was a green one of these. Right. Goes up there used to be a special one for school. Yeah, they were called Green Line. 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 Yeah, they were called